The young lady Arabella never really fit in with the others when she was younger, always playing with the boys, never taking interest in what the other young girls were doing, as she hoped to follow in the footsteps of her father. Thus begins her journey to become an esteemed knight. We begin our tale in the throne room of her father, King Arthur. Father! Father! That night, Arthur gathers his knights to the round table. We have lost a brave knight and a good friend. We cannot replace Sir Charles, but we need a knight brave enough to take on the dangerous quest. My nephew is as brave and strong as any man here. I will volunteer to replace Sir Charles as a knight of the round table. This is not a suitable affair for a young lady such as yourself. My dear daughter, you are but a girl. You cannot possibly succeed in these daring and dangerous quests, and I will not risk your life. I am as able as any man here. I have trained for years, and I have bested out all the knights that stand before you. You will not say such a thing again. You are a daughter of a great king and will drop this nonsense now. I refuse to grant your request to become a knight. You are only a child. Tomorrow we shall host a tournament, and the winner shall be knighted and join us at our table. After Arabella leaves the castle, she decides to seek the help of a witch who resides in the dark forest. The dark forest is a horrible place, filled with hermits, thieves, and sorcerers. Many people enter these woods, but few return. As Arabella makes her way hastily through the forest, she comes across a thief disguised as a hermit. The thief attempted to steal her jewel-encrusted sword and scabbard. Before the thief could get away, the quick-witted Lady Arabella draws her sword and easily slays the burglar. What is your business here? I need you to help me and change me into a man so that I can prove to my father that I am worthy of being a knight. If you wish for my help, you must do me a favor in return. I will do anything you desire for your assistance. You must go to the wastelands of Narnia and bring me the crystal of Narnia. If you do not honor this oath, you will be transformed back into your current self. I give you my word that I will return in one and a half years time with the crystal from Narnia. A young man arises from the witch's lair and starts to make his way back to Camelot. And what brings you here? My name is Adam, and I wish for you to knight me so that I may join the round table. I am searching for a man to take the place of one of my noblest knights. There is a tournament later this day. All are welcome to compete, but only one will be given the chance to be a knight. I will contest any man that challenges me. I will prove that I deserve to be a knight. to the wastelands of Narnia and challenge the best knight that lives there. If you return alive, you will be knighted. I will return victorious and prove that I am deserving of knighthood. and tries to get past me. We come to conquer the best knight in the land. That is I. Come ye forth if you wish to challenge me. Draw your sword. I can.
Adam arrives at the castle and sneaks in past the guards. He wanders into the room where the magic crystal is kept. Return victorious, you are truly deserving of knighthood. Your Majesty! A large band of Narnians has been spotted outside of Camelot. Quickly, gather my knights that we may defend our land. Okay, you have taken what's rightfully mine. Or by my hand, you shall perish! I have not taken what is not mine. Search for the magic crystals of Narnia, stolen from its rightful place in the castle of Narnia. Knights were seen trespassing in the wastelands. Passing, they were simply sent on a quest to best the fiercest knight in Narnia. No instruction of mine to steal your crystal, and if any of my noble men have taken your crystal, I assure you, whoever stole it will be punished. None of my men have taken your crystal. You may continue your search elsewhere. Move our search. The only possible thief. We shall take action! The Narnians charge towards the castle. King Arthur and his knights clash with Sir Rolf and his men. Before me. What has happened to my knight? The knight, I went to a witch in the dark forest and she transferred me into a male so that I could prove that I am worthy of being a knight. Arabella returns the crystal and the Narnians leave. After the Narnians leave, King Arthur is very disappointed with his daughter. You disobeyed me. I denied you your request to become a knight in order to protect you. Even as a man, you were almost killed. King Arthur decided that he should not punish Arabella for pursuing her dream. So he allowed her to stay a knight. Arabella continued to go on many daring quests. She remained loyal and trustworthy until she was killed when a great civil war broke out among the people of Camelot. This is the end of the quest of Lady Arabella. What is the man that is before- wait, what? <laughs> Your Majesty, a large man and not- <laughs> What- what is wrong? What is oh. happening? <laughs> Go to the wastelands of Narnia and, it, and battle the- <laughs> I was ready. Oh. <laughs> if you do not honor this oath, you will be transformed back into your current self. Amanda? I don't know why that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, large band of Narnia. I feel like I can't talk. I don't. I can't. I can't. It's so good. <laughs> Your Majesty, a large band of Narnia just has been spotted outside. <laughs> <laughs> I searched for the magic crystals of Narnia. It has been. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Think of dead puppies. That's funny.